Hi, I'm Eve. I'm the People Engagement Officer for Dynamic Dunescapes in Cumbria. Today I am at South Lonely Nature Reserve and I'm going to be telling you how to undertake a quadrat survey to measure plant indicators for both health and nitrogen deposition. There are many different species that live on our sand dunes and this survey will help us to understand the distribution and also the percentage cover of positive and ne negative indicators of dune health and nutrient enrichment. Some native species will indicate a sand dune is healthy, while others such as invasive species, some types of thistles or even ragwort might indicate that a dune is not doing so well. An increase in these negative indicator species over time may in indicate that there's a decline in the health of these dune habitats and this is really important to monitor to help inform our future conservation dune management. Nutrient enrichment is also a problem on the dunes too and this is often caused by atmospheric nitrogen de deposition which has led to an increase in growth of vegetation leading to dune stabilisation. This can easily affect the species composition found on dunes. Nitrogen loving species can easily outcompete and overtake slow growing native specialist pioneer species that live on the dunes, leading to a reduction in biodiversity overall. Today I'm going to show you how to undertake this survey which can annually be undertaken between June and August time across a range of different dune habitats. So to undertake this survey you will need a couple of things with you. You will need a handheld GPS and or the uh, mobile phone with the Dynamic Dunescapes app already downloaded onto it. You will also need your quadrat grid references. You'll need a tape measure, a compass, four marker posts, a plant indicator species list and an identification guide to help you with this task. If you are not using the app, you will need to ask for a paper recording form from your site manager. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to your first quadrat location. So you will need to use your handheld GPS and the app on the mobile phone to navigate to this grid reference point. Now across the site, um, all of these quadrats should be marked with a post. Um, this will be the case except for in mobile dune habitats. The grid reference and the habitat type is described on the app and on the on your uh, grid reference forms. So from your quadrat location, you will need to use your compass to find north and use your tape measure to measure two metres north in this direction. This is where you can then place your next point. You will then need to repeat this process again, east and south, and then you will have your two by two metre square. So here we have our quadrat ready and set up and this quadrat is in a, in a semi-fixed dune habitat type. So now we can get on with the recording part. You can use your plant indicator species list and ID guide to help you in this process. And what will you will need to do is look very carefully at each species in the quadrat and record it alongside the percentage cover. And you can record this directly onto the form or into the app too. You will need to repeat this process for nitrogen indicator species too. When you are recording the percentage cover, you might find it easiest to record the percentage cover by looking directly above the quadrat. You might also find it easier if you split the quadrat up into quarters to look at each section separately. If there's a species in the quadrat that covers less than 1%, make sure to record this on your recording form or directly in the app as 0.5%. So once you've finished completing your survey, all you need to do is to hand in your recording form to your site manager or if you've used the app, you can download it directly to that. 